Hey guys, it's Dr. Shaw from Shaw Aesthetic Surgery. Today I get to play patient. Um, our nurse injector, Lindsay, is going to be doing the Kybella fat melting shot on me. And, uh, I don't like my waddle. Everybody has this little waddle here, and so that's what I'm going to get melted today. So uh, you'll get to learn about Kybella. It is an FDA approved product from Allergan, and it is the only product in the United States designed for this particular um, outcome and it's for patients who are not necessarily ready for surgery it's for patients who want to try something that's minimally invasive uh, to try and contour that excess fat under the neck so pay attention and watch what she does all right Lindsay so tell me what kind of patient can have Kybella so the ideal patient for a Kybella treatment will be one with mild to moderate submental fullness, so in this area here. That would be me. Um, good skin quality and minimal skin laxity. That would be me. So a not so ideal candidate would have a lot of loose skin, prominent platysmal bands, and sort of a turkey gobbler neck. Okay, well, we don't want facial plastic surgeons with uh, any of those things, so hit me up here. Alrighty. So, so is there so like what kind of patients you said what kind of patients can't have it? Um, well, not so ideal ones would um, have really loose skin, sort of a turkey gobbler neck, um, prominent platysmal bands. And, and are there other kinds of patients that are sort of high risk for getting Kybella injections? Yes, anybody with bleeding abnormalities, um, difficulty swallowing, inflammation, infection in the treatment area, scar tissue, previous surgeries in the area. Um, enlarged thyroid glands, okay. that type of thing. All right, well, good, good. So what are we going to do today? Um, well, we are going to do some Kybella. All right, so I'm going to leave it to you, and you can tell my audience exactly what that means. So how do we start? Okay, I'm going to prep the area with a little antiseptic. Now, i got to let you guys know I had about 25 minutes of topical anesthetic placed. It's one of the ways that you can do this. A lot of places will, when they inject you, will just use ice ahead of time. It's up to you. So what are you doing now? I'm going to draw my treatment zone. Okay. So I'm basically marking the jawline. Okay. And then I'm going to mark the anterior borders of the sternocleidomastoid muscles okay. on the side. So I'll have you turn. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to feel for the thyroid notch. Is it recording? Okay, didn't know. And also the hyoid bone. Okay. Those are things that make up the Adam's apple, right? Yes. Basically, okay, good. And then I'm going to go about a centimeter above the hyoid bone. I'm going to draw lines basically straight down from the corners of the mouth. and then about a centimeter and a half below the jawline. Is Kybella something you could do just one time or do people need more than one injection? Most people will need a couple of, of treatments um, spaced six to eight weeks apart. Um, they could need up to four or five sessions um, treatments depending on how much um, fullness or fat they have down in here. Well, what kind of downtime can I expect? Like, is it mostly cosmetic downtime or am I going to be in a lot of pain afterwards? Um, well, immediately afterwards you'll feel some tenderness, um, some pain, some tingling, uh, some swelling. Um, the majority of that goes down within two to four days, but could last up to three or four weeks. Okay. And how do I treat that pain? Um, ice, uh, we'll ice immediately afterwards for 10 to 15 minutes, and then over-the-counter pain medications and anti-inflammatories. Okay, very good. So people don't need antibiotics afterwards or narcotics no, or anything like that? No, not at all. All right, cool. Can I exercise afterwards? Um, I would wait a day, okay. and then you're good to exercise. All right. Can I have a glass of wine tonight, or should I wait for that too? Um, I, would, I would wait. 
Okay, good. Wait about 24 hours. So what are you doing now? So this is like um, kind of like a children's tattoo. Okay. Uh, now that I have my grid in through here, I'm first going to remove this layer. And then I just get it wet with some gauze and it basically just tattoos the dots onto the skin and those dots are where I will inject. Hey kids, this is the only tattoo dad's going to get. And so I'm going to wipe off everything outside of my treatment zone. Usually a little bit of rubbing alcohol will take these markings off. Okay. Like your tattoo. So perfect. There's just about 20 in there. 20 dots? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, we're going to get started here. Are you ready? And how much are you placing per injection? 0.1 cc? I'm placing 0.2 cc's per injection. Okay. And I'm going to start from the bottom and work my way up. Okay. So if you have any bleeding, it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't get in my way. How does it feel so far? It feels like that dull ache of uh, get the dentist's office and a tooth. That's about it. A little tingly. And so I'm not injecting quite on the dot. I'm injecting just beside it because I don't want the dot to get tattooed onto your skin. Right. So Lindsay, is each injection 0 0.1 cc? Uh, 0 0.2, yes. So two tenths of a cc goes in. On a 
scale of one to ten, what is your pain? Well, I don't know, I think probably three to four. Okay. It's not, it's not unbearable at all. It's more of an ache. Finished my Kybella injection, and I'm wearing my little ice beard here. Um, it wasn't bad, and I'm gonna. I'm looking forward to the uh, good results that I hope I have with this. Uh, from what I've seen other uh, at other places, this is a great treatment, and people are quite happy with it. And I've got expect. You know, I've got realistic expectations because I know this business. So if you are interested in Kybella, uh, give us a call, and we'd be happy to talk to you about it. So I'll. I will be. Um, posting vlogs every few days just to give you an update on how I'm feeling about everything and uh, we'll post before and after pictures of my neck um, when they're ready. So take care. Thanks.